Morocco's most impressive and atmospheric ancient site is the Roman city of Volubilis. Join us on a day's visit to this remarkable place. From the Riyadh Falusia in the Medina of Meknes, we grabbed a filling breakfast and headed out of town. So we're off to Volubilis. Abby's uh, a big girl here in the backseat of a Mercedes. <laughs> Felucia can arrange a special taxi to see the ruins, as well as the nearby town of Moulay Idris, home to Morocco's most venerated saint. Situated in some of the most fertile land in North Africa, Volubilis marked the farthest extent of Rome's imperial road. It had been continuously inhabited for over 2,000 years until the 18th century. So here we are, Volubilis. It's about 30 kilometers north of Meknes. And uh, it's about nine o'clock here in the morning, and it's pretty hot. Yeah. The other day I heard that uh, it was 46 degrees here during the day, Volubilis. So that's, what, over 110 degrees Fahrenheit? So uh, I would definitely get here early in the morning. And there is no better place to take care of a hot stink than the public baths. No Roman town would be complete without them. The baths south of the Forum are especially interesting for their decorative mosaics. Fayubilis is known for its fine mosaics. Abby was cool and comfortable in her carrier, but not impressed with the mosaics. Near the baths are several olive presses, which must have been the main industry of the city's population, numbering around 20,000. Most of the olive oil was exported to Rome. There's a reconstruction of an olive press that we may have seen during the time of the Romans. The Capitol and the Basilica are the town's most prominent structures and were the center of government. Now they are a center for nesting storks. In the 18th century, Moulay Ishmael gutted Volubilis using it as a quarry to build his imperial city in Meknes. So a little imagination is needed to appreciate that which remains. The town's principal street is the Decumanus Maximus, with the triumphal arch on one end, and a series of mansions fronted with merchant shops on the other. Inside these mansions are elaborate mosaics with various motifs like Dionysus and the Four Seasons, Diana Bathing, and the Labors of Hercules. Okay, so it is 10 o'clock, and it is blazing hot, and uh, all the tourists just arrived. So now's the time when we're getting out of here. <laughs> 